<laughs> Welcome to Pericunales. What is up, my amazing diamond cubs? Hello. I think you'll only get that if you watch Seinfeld. But it's, whatever. I digress. Welcome back to Barry Key Nails. How y'all doing? I'm so happy to be back. I got another exciting PR package from our lovely friends at Born Pretty. So we are going to be checking that out. Firstly, I just want to thank you all for being here as always, being kind and genuine and just all around awesome. If you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you tick that little button that says subscribe and then click it, the little bell to do all and then you know you're gonna be part of the barbecue nails fam all right so anyway so they reached out to me and wanted me to try out their jelly non-stick hand extension gel so they sent me these four and they also sent this Born Pretty Metal Painting Gel Super Laser. So, so for what I've gathered, um, the laser like thing means that it's more like a hollow than just chrome. So that is really cool. So let's I'm gonna open all of them up because they're all wrapped, and I'll be right back. All right, now that the wrappers are all off, these do come sealed with the metal with no tab. People need to start putting more tabs on their products. It makes it a lot easier to take off. But anyway, give me a second. I'm gonna cut all these open so y'all can see everything. All right, so these are the four colors. They send me NSG 29, 30, 31, and 32 and the metal painting gel in super laser. So these are available on Amazon and they refer to them as a healthy, environmentally friendly, no pungent chemicals. It's quick drying with UV light. You can use these for multiple different things. So you can use these with a dual form to create a nail extension. You can use it to create 3D art. You can use it to apply chrome even, like if you were to just get a little bit and make a little design or something. And they are soak off, which is always great. So they sent me the, this is the milky white. And then these are, let me get the exact colors. So these are their jelly colors. Now, on their actual site, they do have a lot. They st they sent me these at the bottom, but look how many and in so many different varieties of colors for any kind of different occasion. I mean, you see, gorgeous. Build a nail apex. That's that milky jelly one. It's clear, but we don't have a clear, but it's okay. So if you go to their website, it does provide all the instructions on how to use it as an extension gel, how you can use it for carving, and the nail powder with the chrome and things like that. So let me show y'all the colors. First, let me show you the Born Pretty Metal Painting Gel in the Super Laser. So remember this one is different than like a normal metal silver chrome where you will get just a nice metallic looking look this one is going to give you that rainbow effect and you can even see it a little bit i think that you can see it through the camera in the middle it's more purple bluey and then towards the rim it gives you kind of like that rainbowish effect and it is very gorgeous and shiny look how it is very liquidy so be very careful with this very careful <laughs> all right so this one right here is NSG 29 
It's a 15 ml. And this one is the Milky White. Gorgeous. So on their website and everything, it shows that you can use it with your hands. I don't want to like do too much because I don't want too many too much oils or anything to translate into the actual gel. So this is the Milky White. Get a little paper here. And we're going to start with the pinks. So this is a very light, very delicate pink nude. The only reason I'm doing it like this, because you know how we are with our products and gel and stuff like that, but it does not say on the thing that you have to wear gloves. So that's cool. Go with 31. Beautiful. This one's a little deeper than the previous. I would call this maybe like a rose, like a dusty rose, maybe. down so y'all can see these gorgeous colors and last but not least this is NSG 32 this one is an even darker shade of pink but still a jelly nude So these are the colors, this is the Milky, this was NSG30, NSG31, and then NSG32. So I'm going to cover this up really fast, I'll get my nail lamp, grab a swatch stick, and let's check out this cute little laser gel all right so i did just grab a tiny little brush and i'm going to use this to swatch the metal painting gel in their super laser i'll be very careful because y'all know i'm shaky sometimes and i don't want to mess anything up look at that it looks so cool It looks so funny. It kind of looks like, um, what you call it, like mercury? You know, the stuff that was in the old school thermometers, the liquid mercury? All right, so let's take some of that. So y'all see that? It actually, I was surprised because while I was applying it, it looked very streaky, but it self levels very well. I mean, and you can see like that hollow reflecting reflection. So I'm gonna stick all this in the lamp, and I'll be right back. All right. So while that is curing and doing what it gotta do so i wanted to show y'all what i meant by the um the difference between the laser cut the super laser and a regular metallic silver so here's the regular metallic and here is the super laser you can see like you get that hollow type of effect with this one and this one is more of just a straight up nice metallic look 
So you can come up with some beautiful different designs. Look at the, look at that. Beautiful. So this is a 5 ml jar. It's high density. Um, you can draw lines smoothly and color in one stroke without interruption. Um, high density mirror technology with strong laser metal texture and fine powder full color. Cool. So let me see. Let me double check actually because I don't even think you really have to put this in the lamp. Yeah. Okay, no, it, it does say you have to cure for 60 seconds, okay. I've had some of these before that, you know, you can just brush it on and it air dries, similar to a nail lacquer. But this one, it says cure for the full 60 seconds. And it is a gorgeous hollow. I love it. And here are our colors. Nice and cured. They do leave a tacky layer, similar to when you're using, um, poly gel so I would guess it's best to probably just do a little wipe down it's non-stick when it's actually let me look come on now all right so you see that one's milky I want y'all to see, her, see it on the not white background So those are our little swatches, our little globs. <laughs> so we are going to be using some dual forms today. And got this one off Amazon. These are almond and you can use these with hard gel, poly gel or acrylic. And y'all know me. I love a stiletto. I love a long almond. So I got these in almond in long. Very nice, right? Can you see? It leaves a gap. It does leave a gap on the inside for product. And I love that it has these guidelines. Um, it worse you can see the guidelines right there right along the side and they go all the way across so that helps you guide the product to wherever you want to get to the desired length so that's pretty awesome always like those types of things to help you a little bit you know all right so let me get everything situated and I'll be back all right my love so I already got my dual forms already selected Got my sizes. I've already prepped and primed my nails. So now it is application time. Okay. So I have my flash lamp here. I have my full heavy duty lamp there. So I'm thinking I wanted to do milky on like the nail bed and maybe like a pink towards the edge. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> All right, so I'm first going to start with 29 nonstick gel NSG. Nice and gorge. I really don't want to like, after I've prepped my nails and stuff, I'm going to use a little scooper. Gonna pull out a little glob. Pull it up. Don't need to that much. All right, come on. Okay. So we'll put some of this milky white at the bottom. And you always want to have it pretty thin by the cuticle 
and then you're just gonna kind of work your way up the form push in the product keeping it thin on the sides if you can this one's a little difficult because it's such a tiny form but it'll work and then I think I'll put this one. Thirty one. But this one's pretty, so let's see if we can get a little I don't even probably need that much. Alright, so I haven't done dual forms in a while, so please excuse. <laughs> Any hiccups that you see? So here we're going to push this down and kind of merge it with the white. Alright, so you see there's like little spaces like around there. You have to, you want to fill all that up. So let me use this tool to make this a little thinner than my finger. Alright. One second. Alright, so it's been so long I completely forgot. I'm gonna go in with. After I did my prep, my dehydrator and primer, I'm going to go in with a very thin coat of Warren Pretty's base gel. Just so we can try to get better adhesion. Gel products like to stick to gel products. All right, so we have cured our base coat, which I almost forgot. Glad I did not. All right, so here is the nail. So we want to apply it directly, almost at a 45 degree. And then gently push down. So when you push down, obviously it's going to push some of this gel. So you can just go in and press it out and pat it out. All right, it, it feels good. So let's. Is this some flash curing just so it can definitely adhere to my nail bed and I just noticed there's a little gap here little tiny gap right there so I'm just gonna take a little bit I literally just grabbed like a little tiny bit like that and just going to pop it into that gap that I saw. Make sure the left and right don't have any gaps. So I'm doing the full process just on this nail so I can show y'all and see what works. Okay, I want to see how it comes out. So that's what it looks like right now with the dual form on. 
So let's just put it in the lamp for 60 seconds and we will see what we got. All right, so the nail is cured. I ended up doing 90 seconds just in case because clear is obviously the quickest, you know, and easiest to cure. When you start adding pigment, it starts becoming a little more difficult, I think. So let's just, here, stop, pop, you heard it. And the dual form comes right off. And this is our nail. So you can still kind of see through that, but you see we got, we got kind of like a natural nail bed to the milky sort of, and then into that pink. It's kind of cute. And look, it comes out nice and clean. No residue left behind on the dual form or anything. So that's pretty sweet. All right, so it does have that like a little tackiness. So, you know, you would just go ahead and drill that off, but just continue to watch. And I'm gonna just try to get all these done.
So we are cooking. I cooked it for the full two minutes just because. And this is what we got. All right, so let's start popping these off. Did you know that dual forms, um, they used to be called poppets? Because you can just, I don't know. They don't want to pop. <laughs> Come on. Release. There we go. Last one. I have never had trouble taking off dual forms like this. Ooh, are we still a little uncured? No. Use this instead. There we go. Cool. Look at that. All those are nice and clean. No residue left behind. So that is awesome. And this is what I'm working with so far. So we got good shape. Yeah, so let's just get on it. And we're going to start filing. Got all the dusting done. I'm going to get some cuticle oil. Just pop these on here to get rid of all the small scratches. Do the rest, I'll be right back. All right, my loves, so this is what we've got after filing and buffing with cuticle oil and all. It came out pretty good. That's the thing about these type of nails, they don't have that same click clack like acrylics. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Pretty simple. I saw the process, it was pretty easy. All right, so what I might do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my second hand and I'm gonna have my first set of full, the same nails ever. <laughs> yeah, Mac. Cool. Let's pop these off. Oh, where'd I go? I gotta find that now. One second. All right, so I'm pretty much done on both hands. As you can see, got some nice stilettos with the nail bed being that more milky color and going to that pink. Very cute, very demure, very cute. See, not too much. So I will be definitely doing some nail art. I just wanted to show you guys again the colors that were sent. So we have these two, which was the milky white number 29 and number 30 on these non-stick hand extension nail gel. Is that milky one? It's 30.
31. That's the one we use today. Got 32. Probably should have used this one because I feel like that it would show up more as a darker tone, but it's okay. It's okay. It's totally cute. And you close. Oh my goodness. Okay. Lord. Okay. <laughs> so we got these gorge. non-stick hand extension nail gel and these are Born Pretty's jelly colors in that collection and we have the metallic painting gel in super laser so we are going to use some of that next just to show y'all again how it looks look at some of my finger this stuff is coverage, full coverage. Beautiful. All right, so I'll be back and we're gonna get started on decoration. Alrighty, so we're pretty much all shaped and buffed and everything. So I'm gonna go in with the Born Pretty Base Gel. All right, so we've got the base coat on. And I was thinking of going in with Born Pretty's Milky Jelly White. I'm going to see how it looks. I like that it's just semi-transparent and it's just giving it enough of that jelly white that I want. So I got this done. We are going to ignore the little red spots. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this drill that I got, this new drill. If y'all didn't see that video, go check it out. My new M brand drill. Honey, <laughs> uh, that thing's a little powerful. <laughs> she is powerful, honey. And I have not had enough time to practice with her that much. Um, not sure what I'm doing, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> I, I did not have a plan for this set in particular, but I do want to make sure that I highlight these gorgeous products because I love, like, it's well, 
Let's see what the ombre brush does. Let's try it on. Ooh. Let's try it on We're out. Remember, ignore the little red spots. I was a little careless with the new e-file. But, I mean, look. We've got awesome, durable nails with the holographic laser cut chrome with some Halloween stickers. So if y'all can, definitely check out the Born Pretty Jelly Non-Stick Hand Extension Nail Gel. They don't have just these colors. They have a huge range available online. You can use them like I did to make these nails. You're using dual forms. You can use them to carve little flowers if you wanted. Um, uh, you can use it for chrome and all of those types of stuff. And definitely check out this metal painting gel the super laser is the one that gives you that hollow type of effect when you look at it so um, this is <laughs> definitely check out born pretty thank you so much for sending me these to try these out 
this hand we're leaving a surprise for next time. <laughs> Love you all. Sending all the kisses and pushing out that positive energy, my loves. Pushing it out because we all need it. Peace out. Unpleasant dreams.